Hi, this is Eric with Parts Soccer, and today we're going to show you how to replace the lower door seal on your Whirlpool dishwasher. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool Corporation dishwasher brands, including KitchenAid, Maytag, Jenner, Amana, and more. If you need to purchase a new lower door seal for your Whirlpool dishwasher, you can check out our website, PartsSoccer.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The lower door seal is located here on the inside of the dishwasher's door. The dishwasher's lower door seal provides a barrier at the bottom of the door to help prevent water from leaking during the cleaning cycles. If the lower door seal is damaged or failed, water may leak from the bottom of the dishwasher's door during operation. Since we will be working on the dishwasher's electrical components, disconnect power to the dishwasher. Note this repair can be completed with the dishwasher installed. To begin, open the dishwasher's door. Using a T15 Torx bit, remove these 10 screws from around the perimeter of the door holding the front panel in place. Then, while supporting the panel, close the door without engaging the latch. Gently tilt the panel forward and disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Then, lift the front panel up and away from the arm hinges. Now, remove the two screws holding the vapor barrier in place using a quarter inch nut driver. Then, gently flex the barrier in the center while pulling to clear the hinges. Using a 3 16th inch driver, remove these five screws holding the lower door seal in place. Next, open the dishwasher's door and remove the old door seal. If you need a new lower door seal, you can check the website, partsactor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You will make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on the dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. To install, align the three retaining holes on the lower door seal to the screw holes in the door and press into place. Then, tape the door seal down to prevent movement while reinstalling the screws. Now, close the door and reinstall one screw, being careful not to push too hard while getting the thread started. Then, reinstall the four remaining screws. Next, reinstall the vapor barrier by inserting one side, gently flexing, and inserting the other side and pressing into place. Then, align the screw holes on the vapor barrier to the screw holes on the hinges and reinstall the two screws. Now, align the hangers on the panel to the arm hinges on the door and gently slide the panel into place. Then, reconnect the electrical connector. Now, align the screw holes on the panel to the screw holes on the door, being sure that the locking mechanism seats beneath the panel. Start by installing the two top corner screws, bearing in mind that the four larger screws belong on the top row. Then, while supporting the panel, we install the remaining screws. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.